Time to play with some play. About a year ago, maybe less, I had a uh, split or a break in my favorite silicone tool. Now, you can't get these anymore, and that's, the lady can't replace it because she just uh, has gotten to the point where she can't do these things anymore. What I did to repair it was I took some good old super glue, uh, or not super glue, but gorilla glue and uh, I got the idea from a uh, person I follow on YouTube uh, Deep Digger Dan or uh, Travel Trolls um, he's a, a metal detector uh, and uh, he and his girlfriend travel all over England in their mobile home and uh, he uses Gorilla Glue on everything that breaks in, in the trailer. And, I mean, he's he's a fanatic for Gorilla, gorilla Glue. Well, anyway, I th thought I'd try to repair this with some Gorilla Glue in uh, the uh, uh, crack that was formed by the, which weakened the tip. Um, so I took some water. I had to uh, get water on the surface of both the upper and lower part of the brake. And uh, I didn't know about that until I read the instructions on the back here. You have to wet the surface of what you're going to repair first with water to activate Gorilla Glue and so after I put some water on it using a uh, fondue sticks tip um, I had to dip this the stick into the Gorilla Glue because the cap uh, that uh, you s twist off and it had a little hole to squeeze the glue out was clogged up and uh, I'm going to clear that today with the with a fondue stick. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is, I di I took the cap off and dipped the stick into the uh, Gorilla Glue, and then I took the Gorilla Glue that was on. Boy, this is hard to say. <laughs> I put the Gorilla Glue on the tip of this uh, fondue stick, and then I just. Uh, transferred the glue into the uh, crack in the silicone then you gotta have pressure on it for two hours and so what i did was i put some clay on one side of the handle to keep it in place you can see the the break right there and then i took this heavy uh, tape measure and I just leaned it against which forced the two halves to press against each other and I left it out here and I, I forgot about it over the week uh, for the last couple of days and uh, this uh, morning it's uh, 5.30 no it's 5.48 in the morning I came down to see how the uh, bandage or the uh, repair went and uh, it's repaired perfectly it's uh, got us it's uh, it's I can work with this tool now I couldn't do that before and that uh, I took a little sandpaper and, and sanded down the ridge uh, that was formed. I, I still can't use the whole surface to smooth clay with, but I can use this side, which is just fine. 
So anybody out there with any kind of a break on a tool similar to this, and I know there are quite a few people who have bought these silicone tools um, in the past when she was producing them, and I thought I'd pass this information on to everybody. All right, I'm going back upstairs now and uh, get my breakfast and get ready to take a shower and all that stuff so I can get to work again on my clay. It's coming out beautiful, by the way. And I can't wait to get busy on this thing and get it ready to go to the foundry. Today is uh, Thursday. So that's a, a fix that I found and came up with uh, and a method of uh, uh, forcing the two halves to uh, basically tighten, tightly bond to each other. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.